situation. I mean, as, as FER waits for uh, some kind of high-level meeting with, with Chinese authorities, yeah. um, intelligence reports coming out, and you just saw the previous yeah. report from our reporter um, about you know, uh, aerial photographs of hangars uh, that have just been recently built, yeah. uh, capable of housing um, rotating fighting jets, uh, bombers uh, in, in, in the West Philippine Sea. Uh, apart from that, yeah. uh, intelligence reports, uh, which uh, Vietnam denies, yes. that even they have deployed rocket launchers close by. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I agree with you. We're having this uh, dangerous situation, yeah. uh, very dynamic situation yeah. in the area happening while we're waiting for talks to, to resume. Um, could events overtake, uh, I mean, could this all be overtaken by events? Well, uh, we have to unpack this. In China, among hawks, doves, and pragmatists, there is one consensus. Mm. These islands that we built are ours, and it's our business what to do with it. Mm. If you want to build facilities, so be it. Anyways, our argument is Vietnam has already airstrips, now has possibly deployed uh, their own uh, missile systems. The Malaysians and the Philippines for quite some time had already their military facilities in Pagasa, and uh, also, of course, in the case of Malaysia, also in the Spratly. So it's also within our right mm. to have a military presence there. But the question, I think, for the Philippines is, will China use those facilities to impose an air defense identification zone? Will it use those facilities to create an exclusion zone where we cannot deploy supplies to our people in Pagasa? Remember, we have a lot of people in the Pagasa. The biggest issue here exactly. is freedom of navigation and, of and course, flight. And of course, reconnaissance and surveillance activities. I think it's very possible that China will build these facilities full-fledged and at some point tries to begin to impose restrictions on other countries. But I think the point of President Ramos going there and Duterte reaching out to them is to make sure that at least with respect to us, they will have a different treatment. Because this is what China has been doing to Malaysia. For around 20 years, if you look at how China has been treating Malaysia, they always got this special treatment. Because Malaysia was very careful not to rock the boat and adopt a quiet diplomacy. Right? I think the hope of the Duterte administration is that since we have a legal victory, since we can use that legal victory to pressure China and ask for more freedom of navigation in, in, in the area or even push for other arbitration cases against China, maybe in exchange for not doing that, we can ask the Chinese not to cut off our supply lines to allow us to continue right. reconnaissance activities. It, it's a very dynamic situation for sure, and all sides agree that it is. Uh, but let's talk about the relationship of the U.S. now with the Philippines yeah. in the wake of these statements. It could be a minor irritant. Yeah. It could be, of course, uh, a preview of things to come. What do you think? We're talking about the uh, uh, Bakla uh, statements uh, uh, right. uttered by President Duterte. Um, clearly, uh, he has made no secret of his contempt for the, U the U.S. ambassador in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, something which began, of course, during the campaign yeah. period. Is this going to be just a minor irritant, uh, yeah. or is this going to be uh, a portent of things to come? Well, it seems that it's a big issue in the United States, and, 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 and you could see that the United States is slightly worried about this new administration. I mean, the fact that they deployed two very high-level special envoys, first Christy Kenny and then John Kerry came here, signals that they want to make sure that the relationship will remain the, 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 where it used to be mm -hmm. under the Aquino administration. And of course, it, since the campaign period, this enmity, uh, mm -hmm. supposed enmity between uh, President... But is it